Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeardGnation.com. Today we're looking at a very exciting beer for me. One of my favorite television shows, one of my favorite comic book series, The Walking Dead, now officially has a beer. This is from Terrapin. This is their Blood Orange IPA. Again, you can see The Walking Dead beer. 6.7% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, it's a Red India Pale Ale brewed with blood orange peel. They are using a ton of different hops in this one. Summit, CTZ, Cascade, Centennial, Zythos, Calypso, Citra, Lemon Drop, and it's dry hop with Calypso, Citra, and Mosaic. So sounds awesome. Malts, if you want to know, two row, crystal, 45, 65, 85, and dried blood orange peel. Sounds very, very cool. I really, I'm a big fan of Terrapin. They do a lot of really solid beers, and the fact that they're now doing a Walking Dead beer, one of my favorite shows, like I said, one of my favorite comic books, had to get this one. So let me get into a glass, let you guys know it smells, taste, and get the final verdict on the Walking Dead Blood Orange IPA. All right, guys, the aroma. Not super hoppy, a little bit of a sweet orange characteristic, orange peel. Maltiness, definitely getting a big kind of caramel sweetness in this one. A little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine, but nothing really super jumping out at me. I guess the taste. Cheers. Yeah, a um, <clears throat> little bit of bitterness right at the front of the tongue, very generic bitterness, middle of the mouth, maltiness. Uh, caramel, a little bit of toffee, um, a slight kind of cherry flavor, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine, a little bit of, like I said, like a residual kind of generic bitterness hanging out in there. Um, definitely getting the orange peel a little bit, very slight, uh, pretty sweet in the aftertaste. In the aftertaste, again, more maltiness. Um, more of a generic kind of uh, bitterness, uh, maybe a little of that grapefruit, a little bit of orange peel in there. The hops just aren't as forward as I was hoping they would be in this one, and I think that's due to the malts. It's a very malty beer, and this is a super fresh beer. I mean, this is as fresh as I can get it. Um, I'm drinking this before this beer is even out. Okay, let me put it that way. Um, and it's not super hoppy, like I was hoping. You know, it's, it's dry hop, with all these great hops. I'm not getting that. It's kind of generic, kind of what you would think of like a generic IPA. It's kind of, if you were to describe a generic IPA, that's what this smells like, except maltier, which doesn't help its case. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Terrapin Walking Dead Blood Orange IPA, available October 5th, 6.7% alcohol by volume. I'm gonna give this one a B minus. It's just too malty. It's just too malty. It's killing the hops, um, which is unfortunate because I get why they did it. You know, I get the color and everything. Uh, maybe they could have used blood orange juice rather than like the crystal malts to give it the red look. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing the idea out there. But the malts are definitely eating up the hops in this one. You get a little bit of hoppiness, but it's very generic. It's very just kind of plain and just you can't pick too many things out of it because the malts are so heavy and just sweet and kind of taking over. I might be, you know, nitpicking it a little bit because of that, but it's definitely um, not what I was expecting. It's definitely an East Coast IPA. Let me put it that way. Not a new school East Coast IPA. It's more like an old school East Coast IPA. It's solid. You know, if you like the show like myself, I would have picked this up anyways, even if, <laughs> even if I heard um, that I, what might not be something I would like. I'd pick it up anyways just because it's The Walking Dead. And, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, it's not bad. Uh, it's a B, B minus somewhere in there. So with that said, getting a B slash B minus. Remember, folks, stay short. Chicken, make some beers. Cheers.